I'm assuming because uh, I've been on the internet for a while, grandkids, uh, that a lot of people are are just raging out by this bit of news and saying the Song of Ice and Fire novels are never going to get done now, but I don't think they ever were in the first place, so I kind of feel like we, we, we gained a bunch of stuff and, and lost nothing. Rawr. So by now you probably heard that George signed a five-year deal mid eight figures with HBO to produce not only a bunch of Game of Thrones spin-off shows, but also some other stuff that I don't care about and I'm not going to talk about. I'm just going to talk about Game of Thrones and Song of Ice and Fire in this video. If you care about his other stuff that he's developing, that is fantastic, and I encourage you to go find people that are also excited about those things. I am not. So what do we know that we're getting so far? One, House of the Dragon. It's going to be 10 episodes. It features the Targaryen Civil War, the Dance of the Dragons, and is going to see a lot of dragon death and, and make me really sad. We also know we're getting Tales of Duncan Egg, which I am so excited for. I made a video complaining that we were never going to get it, and then a week later it was announced that George was like, eh, hey, yeah, here we go, which is weird because he always said, no, 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 I gotta finish the short stories. I think his mortality has definitely hit him, and the pandemic and losing as many friends as he has since the end of last year has, has pushed him forward in doing a lot of deals. Also, HBO getting their heads out of their ass and realizing they should have been pumping out more Game of Thrones sooner after the dismal ending to the main series. We're gonna see the story of Nymeria, her 10,000 ships, which is gonna be so cool. Eventually, she ends up in Dorne and she helps uh, create a united Dorne, goes, becomes part of House Martell. It's, it, it's pretty rad, and she starts the tradition of princes and princesses in Dorne. If you don't care about Dorne that much, we might not even see that. It might not even get that many seasons. Instead, we're going to see her traveling around and her people getting absolutely wrecked in the scarier parts of Essos and Sithoros. We also have the Sea Snake, so Coralus Valarian. We're going to see him in House of the Dragon, but we're also going to see his younger self sailing all around Essos, which is very exciting because there's a lot of exotic, scary places. And I have been someone that's been saying for years, please, 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 HBO, live action, explore Essos and the crazier parts of it. I have so many videos of do not visit and talking about the different cultures and traditions that are a bit different than what you would see in the Seven Kingdoms in the <laughs> western part of Essos. Once you get to the Far East, things get a bit different, and I, for one, enjoy a bit different. We also know we're getting a Flea Bottom story, which is Fine, I'm not excited for it. Uh, may maybe you are. If you are, please let me know in the comment section down below. I need someone to, you know, get me all riled up about this, but in, a, in a, a good way. We're also getting an animated series, which I think is amazing. If you haven't seen yet, watch Aegon's Conquest, the animated version. So, so good. And if they can do more of that or take some of these other stories, I would love for them to be telling more of the unique stories or perhaps jumping around in time through an animated series, but I, I guess we'll see. It is being reported that the Roberts Rebellion spinoff that was going to happen isn't on the list anymore, so perhaps they're no longer doing it, or maybe it's been pushed back for other things. I do know George has been very vocal. You know, I've talked about Roberts Rebellion to death, but he also said I've talked about Aegon's Conquest to death. So those were two things that he never wanted to do live action, and then it was surprising to hear about it, but it might not be happening after all, which, which it does make sense, though. Man, I would love to see Bobby B in his prime. Just fucking ripping through people. Giant warhammer, glistening muscles, a maiden's dream. Now you may be wondering, what does this mean for A Song of Ice and Fire? What does this mean for Winds of Winter? What does this mean for A Dream of Spring? I have a feeling George has lost his passion or he's too stressed out about finishing the novels. We know George does not do well with time crunches or stress. It just freaks him out and he closes down. And George has been very clear. He likes to work in television. That's a passion of his. And to see these stories live action, I think is something he really wants to work towards. And this is where his passion lies at the end stage of his life, in the winter 
uh, season of his life. And I get how that can be very frustrating. And this is where people freak out and say, you're white knighting for George. Um, I would white knight for you too. I, I would white knight for anyone. I just consider that being a decent human being. But, you know, you do you. You, you keep telling people their virtue signaling white knighting soy boys or whatever we're doing on the internet now it's cool but think about it this way we are getting so many game of thrones spinoffs for years now and that's so amazing and it's better than not getting winds of winter and also not getting more game of thrones live action shows and i know there are so many people that said they are done with game of thrones and that's fine be done with it don't watch any of the shows, but there are a lot of us that are still interested in Game of Thrones and still interested in these live action spinoff shows. And if you want them to fail and you don't want to see them, then absolutely don't watch them. Don't click on videos talking about them. Don't interact with those videos because then you give HBO the thumbs up signal of keep pumping this shit out. The best thing you can do if you do not want to see these spinoff shows happen is to ignore everything related to it. Absolutely. But I just have this feeling Winds of Winter is just not where his priorities are. He's not enjoying it. And I, I go back to his mortality and the pandemic and all his friends he has recently lost. And I think George has realized he has limited time and he needs to do what he loves and his passions. And, and this is where it's at. And he can bang his head against the wall and try to finish Winds of Winter, but it's not going to happen. So if you give him his joy, maybe he can work on it a little bit. Maybe he starts to relent a little bit and, and has someone else help him, though he's very against it. But, you know, he's also been very against quite a few things that he's now doing. So time changes. Experience changes. So I don't want people to think this is it. When's a winter is dead, we're never going to see the end of the series. Al although we might. But this might invigorate George. This might push him to have other people help him, even though I know there are some people that just want him to do it. But at this point, I think we have to compromise and realize if you just lock him in his house, as he has been during a pandemic, he's still not going to get it done. If he was going to get Winds of Winter done, he would have gotten it done during this pandemic when he was a slave <laughs> chained in his home. And it didn't happen. Life is not fair. I know you've experienced that by now if you are watching this channel because you sh should be 18 plus if you're not mentally or, or physically. Please get the fuck out. And I think this is a good compromise that we get more live action Game of Thrones spinoff shows and maybe Winds of Winter. Maybe. And it's also okay to be really upset about this. It's okay to freak out and, and be so mad that you're probably not getting the end uh, to a series you love. I would hope that you would be able to express your displeasure without death threats or low blows to an elderly man, especially a man that has given you things that you love. But I understand not everyone can express themselves in that way. And the only way they can do it is by uh, going for those low blows. I, for one, just don't care at this point. I just want something. And I feel like this is the only way we're going to get more Game of Thrones. And if this is where George's priorities lie, it is up to him. It is his life. And I can be upset and I can be disappointed, but I do not have the right to give him death threats or say nasty things about him. I can still bitch. We can all still bitch about it. And be like, ah, we're never getting Winds of Winter. Fuck. We've been following this fucking series for over 20 years. But we can also become rational adults about it and realize life is full of compromise. And if you want to hurt him, like I said, ignore all his projects. Ignore any videos talking about him. Your ignoring will have an effect. But you need to walk away if you're done with Game of Thrones. George, I wish you many years left in your life. I really hope these decisions you're making is just because of you seeing your mortality and not because there's anything wrong with you. I hope this makes you happy. I hope if you don't wanna work on Winds of Winter anymore, you don't work on it anymore. You need to do whatever you want to do at this point. You owe nothing except to the people you've signed legal contracts with. You definitely owe stuff to them. Also, you're an insanely rich man, so if you want to be done and just do your own shit, do your own shit. You've earned it.
You've had a lifetime of working and giving. It's okay if you're done. I'm still gonna bitch about it, though. <laughs>